In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get Saero's minimap. As you can see in the top left, we have the minimap working. And if we press Y, we actually have all the settings for Saero's minimap. So I'm going to show you how to get that working in Minecraft 1.19.4. And without any further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so step number one to downloading and installing Saero's minimap is to actually download Saero's, right? We need to download the mod. And how do you download Saero's? Well, you're going to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install this minimap. Now, of course, we have an in-depth guide guiding here with the screenshots and with all the written text that you will need to install Saeros. However, I assume that you want to follow along the video, so I'm going to show you how to do this through the video as well. But if you prefer to read, the guide is here, of course. Anyways, let's say that you click on the second link. What's next? How do you download Saeros? All you have to do is to scroll down until you see where it says download Saeros minimap, and you're going to click that little button right there that is going to redirect you to the new CurseForge website. This is a brand new CurseForge website. They changed it around a bit, but it's still pretty similar and it still does the same thing as the old one. All you have to do is find the desired version for Saeros. In this case, we're going to download 1.19.4. But if you're watching this in the future and there's a newer version that you prefer, you could download that one, of course. Now, keep in mind that Saeros is a mod. So in order to play mods in Minecraft, you need a mod loader. And the most popular mod loaders are Fabric and Forge. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just stay until the end of the video because I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and I'm going to show you how to get a mod loader. But for those of you that do understand what I'm referring to, you know I'm referring to Forge and Fabric. That is the mod loader. In this case, when you come to Curse Forge, you see that you have Saeros for Forge and for Fabric, and they're both for 1.19.4. As you can see right here, there's 1.19.4 Fabric and 1.19.4 Forge. In this tutorial, we're going to be downloading the Forge version because I have Forge. However, if you want to download the Fabric one, it's still the same type of tutorials, exactly the same steps. You could still follow along this video and you won't get lost. And also in our written guide, we show you how to install Saeros for Fabric and for Forge. Anyways, once you're here in the files, go ahead and find 1.19.4 for your mod loader. In this case, we're going to be using Forge. If you have Fabric, download the Fabric one. And once you find your Saeros 1.19.4, click on these little three dots and then click download file. That is going to redirect you over here where the download should have started automatically after five seconds. As you can see, there's a little countdown and now the download started. As you can see, it's asking me where I want to save it, but for you, it's just probably going to download automatically. Go ahead and download that file. And once your file has downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. If you're using Chrome, you can find it here on the top right. Go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. It should look something like that. Saeros minimap. And now if you already have Forge or Fabric installed, all you have to do is open your mods folder through your Minecraft launcher using Forge or Fabric and then drop Saeros into there. But I'm assuming most of you don't have any mod loader installed. And that's what I was talking about earlier. I'm assuming most of you are coming to this video with no idea how to add mods to Minecraft. So I'm going to show you how to install a mod loader in order to add mods like Saeros, for example. We're going to be installing Forge because that is the version of Saeros that we downloaded. We downloaded the Forge one. So in order to install Forge, just click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Once in here, go ahead and click where it says download Forge here. And that is going to redirect you over here to the Forge official website. And we're going to look for 1.19.4 because remember, we're installing Saeros 1.19.4. You always have to make sure it has to match the mods that you are installing. So go ahead and click on 1.19.4 here in the top left for Forge and then click on the installer that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds. Again, as you can see, it says, please wait five seconds. Don't click anything else. Just wait five seconds. And then after five seconds, you're going to see a button that says skip right here. You can barely see it. Go ahead and click on that. And that is going to start the download for Forge. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file, but for you, it's going to download automatically. As you can see right here, we have Forge 1.19.4, the installer downloading. There we go. We already have it. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And now we are ready to install Forge to then later on add our mods, in this case, Saeros. So how do you install Forge? All you have to do is double click on Forge. That is going to open the installer for Forge, as you can see right here. And then we're going to leave it as it is. It already says install client and we're going to click OK. That is going to start the installation for Forge. And while Forge is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsors, Apex hosting if you are looking for a minecraft server where you could play with your friends where you could add mods without having to install everything manually like we're doing here you could have forge you could have a java server you could have a bedrock server open 24 7 with 25 percent off well then use the first link in the description because apex hosting is giving you 25 percent off if you use our link so yeah don't miss out on the opportunity because i myself have a server with apex hosting and when i created my server they didn't have a 25 percent discount so if you want to play minecraft with friends in a very powerful server 
first link in the description for 25% off and let's check on Forge. And as you can see, if we go back to the installer, Forge has finally installed. We could go ahead and click on OK on that. And now we could even delete Forge. We could delete the installer, right? So let's delete this little text document that appears in there. And now how do we add titles to the game? Well, all you have to do is launch your Minecraft launcher. So go ahead and click on your Minecraft launcher. And then once the launcher has opened, if you install Forge properly, oh my God, I'm seeing that my head is like, Kind of disappearing because my hair is kind of green so the green screen is getting all confused with the computer anyways going back to the tutorial if you install forge properly you should see forge 1.19.4 automatically selected down here as you can see we already have it in there if that's not the case you could go to installations and make sure that modded is selected anyways how do we add titles you might be asking all you have to do is head over to installations find your forge instance or fabric if you're using fabric i'm assuming most of you if you are in this point of the video you are using forge because you are following along so once you find forge go ahead and click on this little folder that appears in there I'm gonna make our launcher a little bit smaller and then we're gonna get this big folder in here with all these files how do we add titles all you have to do is find a folder called mods mods and as you can see my mods folder is right here and i'm actually gonna delete it because let's say that you come over here and you don't have a mods folder what do you do well don't worry all you have to do is create a new folder so right click click new folder and then name that mods right so let's say that you didn't have a mods folder for whatever reason we could create one okay so find your mods folder as you can see we now have an empty folder and just drag and drop Cytos minimap into that there we go we have Cytos minimap forge 1.19.4 we could close this folder open our minecraft launcher again and launch our forge installation and i'll see you inside the game make sure that you click that you understand the risk and as you can see once the game has opened as you can see in the top left we have Cytos working and if you press y you could actually access the settings for Cytos and you could customize it however you want so that is pretty much how to get Cytos working in minecraft 1.19.4 if this tutorial was useful let me know down in the comments and as always bye bye